Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setup for today. So, um, pretty much a one-way traffic day yesterday. We sort of bounced off the 155 and continued to the upside. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the flag. You can see bottom of the flag is uh, 34,344. Top of the flag is 34,906, 34,900. Uh, that is the structure. Look at my oscillators. They have now separated and are crossing. That is an indication we have another move coming. So uh, on the 8 hour, we're basically looking for a break of 35,900, uh, sort of a break and retest of that area. If we start moving to the 3 hour, you can see the week has been just basically a range, big up and big down. So the probability of this staying on the range today is fairly high. Because uh, obviously we're waiting for some catalyst at the moment and we don't have that catalyst. Pay attention to the moving averages. We are finding support on the moving averages. So uh, it all depends where we finish today. So what we're looking for is a continuation of the previous week bar. So I'm just going to go to the week. So you can see there was a previous week spring bar crossover confirmed. And now we're looking for a confirmation bar. So anything that is green today is going to uh, basically give us that indication and you can see the top of that range look to the left look what's going on look at how many weeks we touch that level you can see from march 2021 all the way through and the last touch on that was in uh, uh, that's october no that would have been Dece um, the beginning of the, yeah december early december so that is a significant level that we need to get through and uh, the the reality is we may push through today so what you may find is uh, what, what the bulls are looking for is a push above that level uh, and get a weekly close above it and then what we're looking for is a pullback to come and test it so that's kind of the move that i'm anticipating at the moment but looking at the one hour oscillators it's just saying we're probably going to have a bit of a pullback which also makes sense because what you're looking for for a range break to the upside is you're looking for a higher low I and mean, we've really got a higher low inside the range but you're looking for another one and also it's logical that it's going to come and test the moving averages so that's 34.577 so you're looking for a move back here see what happens and then see if we can break through me personally i'm sitting out of it uh, because it can depending on what noise they're waiting for it can come down and test the bottom of the range or even break the bottom of the range um, on the weekly so it could end up with a inside bar on the weekly so gives you an idea of what the, um, the bears are looking for and what the bulls are looking for so the bulls are looking for a green close above the top and the bears are looking for a red close below the bottom and um, you, you're going to get stuck in that it could actually hurt give you a pretty serious nosebleed so um, if you look at the 15 minute from yesterday no real opportunity uh, I suppose that was the only opportunity there the break above the one um, the 155 EMA and then you've got a pin bar on it that was your opportunity uh, fairly late in the session and you but you could still be in on that trade at the moment but um, yeah little gaps here as well there's a little gap over there don't see anything else from yesterday so it does look like a rounding bottom inside the range as well so uh, yeah uh, quite simple uh, pay attention to 34 800 and i've been saying 34 600 sorry about that 34 800 is a level uh, let's just get back there so 34 800 is what you need to pay attention to the upside uh, only thing that's going to get you short is a break below 34 344 so at the moment uh, if you can get back to 34 577 uh, that could give you some support for a move back to the upside alternatively you're looking for this break and retest now often what happens is you can get a break in the in the European session and it just carries on going and then you get a sort of a daily close up there so that's just something that you need to pay attention to so it is also worth you know taking a break on the 15 minutes here so quite simple take a break if we get a break and a retest on the 15 or even the five minute take a small position and keep a stop tight but you know have your mindset right that you're probably going to lose that money it's a gamble but it's you've, you've got a 50 50 chance of it actually continuing so um, in my eyes it's always worth a small risk okay but anyway that's kind of my view at the moment um and if you want to take a conservative view you just leave it alone and come back on monday 
and see what uh, structure has formed and then you, you've got the confirmation. But one thing's for sure, a close, a weekly close above the top here is going to bode very well for the bulls going forward. And uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to close their eyes and buy, even though uh, the markets, the economy and uh, the noise in the market is saying we shouldn't be buying. But um, yeah, as I've said before, uh, trading, uh, the art of trading has changed or the world of trading has changed. And there's uh, way more of us retail traders that are in, in the mix at the moment. And we can influence um, the price. It's uh, not just institutions that can do it. We can influence us as well. And that's what a lot of people are doing. Okay, anyway, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and uh, enjoy your weekend. We'll catch up with you on Monday morning. Cheers for now.